Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb from Sun and Fun 2015. We're with Scott Hayes of Superior Air Parts, and he's going to give us a technical tour of the new Gemini 100 horsepower diesel engine. The basic design is a three-cylinder opposed piston, so two pistons in the same cylinder. The crankshafts are on the outboard which reduces the need or eliminates the need for valve trains. So you actually have ports in the sleeves themselves. And if I could just grab a sleeve and show you what we look like. Exhaust ports are larger, the intake ports are smaller. The pistons uh, move back and it allows the uh, uh, intake to, uh, gases to go in, comes together, combusts. As it goes back out, the exhaust gases escape. The engine is a two-cycle engine, which makes it uh, very smooth and very efficient. It uh, requires a supercharger to establish flow through the uh, cylinder itself, because from a pump perspective, until the combustion is started, airflow is not established. The particular engine has two crankshafts on the outboard side, one on this side, one on that side, which allow the pistons to come together inside the cylinders themselves. Makes for a very compact design, uh, very efficient and very uh, lightweight. Horsepower on this particular model, we have another one in development that will come out a little later that's turbocharged. and It'll have 125 horsepower. It's uh, liquid cooled and it requires a radiator to uh, cool itself off. The turbocharged flavor downstream has an intercooler. This particular model is supercharged and it does not have an intercooler. This engine is specifically designed for the LSA market. It really is a nice form factor that's very compact, lightweight. It's a really designed to fit tighter cowls. Um, it gives you flexibility in terms of being able to burn Jet A, biodiesel, or diesel fuel. So in parts of the world where fuel uh, delivery is, is very uh, sketchy at best, it opens up a whole different set of possibilities for you.